something different today. I'm making a um, pre-hung door for a small uh, pantry door, like in the hallway. Um, there's not a lot of room. This is a eight, just an 18 inch um, door slab, um, pre-hung on four nine sixteen standard jams. So this is your typical uh, pre-hung installation. Um, this is a clear glass door. We're going to do something a little bit different where we sandblast the background and then shade in the design area, which is a wine glass and, uh, and wine bottle with bread and cheese. So it's very, you know, pantry door-ish. Um, normally what I do is I have a, um, a, a totally frosted door slab and we put their design on the outside but since this door was so hard to get in this size um, this was the configuration that worked best so there'll be a little clear area here so you can see in so sometimes like uh, if it's a bedroom door or something like that or office where you don't want to see it at all this won't work okay but this works for this project anyway this is the cute design I don't know if you can see it and it's showing what I did is I I give her a line art and let her see how it's gonna lay out of course this way so she can see it but she can also see that her 18 inch door you can't fit in an 18 inch door glass area what you can in the rest of these so this is what you get from me before I proceed and we work you know work with a design that works for you a lot of people order just what they see on the website they see something that they like and that's just fine and maybe they want to change a little thing here or there or maybe they don't want to change anything at all that's fine um anyway so the word pantry is written in reverse that's because you're going to see it from the outside and on my website there is a page called resources and at the very bottom of the resource tab drop down it's it's called an order form worksheet and it just asks you all the standard questions that somebody needs to know about ordering a door. And if you're not familiar with all those things, it can get confusing, but each item, like hinge color choice, they all have a page that tells you, here's your choices, which one do you want? What's a swing and handing? There's a page for that and it shows you a diagram. It shows you how, how to visualize um, your swing and handing and what the terminology is and whether it's an in interior exterior door so there's like a layout of a house and you can pretty much tell what is your whoops, your layout um, that keeps happening because it's having to balance on the edge over there um, that's not normal <laughs> um, anyway so uh, let me know what you would like and if you want to have a barn door it's just whatever size door slab you want. Usually it, it needs to overlap the door opening by at least an inch on each side. So sometimes if you have a 32 inch door, you're gonna order a 36 inch door slab if you want a barn door, because it's really a slab and you put your barn door hardware on there. But like for this 18 inch door, if she'd have wanted a, um, a barn door, then she would have ordered probably a 24 inch door because there's only certain sizes, okay? So um, that's a possibility. Then of course it has no prep because that's what you do when you're gonna put on your, hang up your, your barn door. You have to go according to the barn door hardware um, instructions. So anyway, I'll let you know how it turns out and I'll get a picture so you can see um, how it looks in the end. It'll look nice and when she gets it installed, it'll be wonderful and give her something different for her home. That's what people are looking for. And we do, we do all kinds of things. Like you can have all kinds of designs. You can match designs in wallpaper, a theme that you're using in your home, whatever is special to you. For this lady, she just wanted wine and cheese and something that says pantry. So that's what she wanted, okay? So I'm all about doing something unique, okay? Um, it's Terry with Etched Glass Doors signing out. I'll get back to you in a little while after I get all cleaned up again because I'm going to get very dirty here in a few minutes. <laughs> all right. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, I got it done and I'm all cleaned up. So ready to talk about this. Next thing I got to do is take the remaining part of the template off and then the design will be there and I'll show it to you up close after I get it all taken off. See, the contrast um, 
It makes for a nice contrast, but you are going to have clear areas with this method. And when your pantry is dark, of course it's not, you know, doesn't have lights on in there, it shows up really, really well. But when you do the um, all frosted, it, it does show up nicely too because number one, you're inside and the lighting, um, you know, this is the non-glare side because it's been frosted and then the shiny side. So you, you always got the contrast between the shiny areas and the not shiny areas that make um, it show up when you have, we, we, we do the other method, which is the all frosted glass with the etching done on the outside. Hang on, I'm doing it as fast as I possibly can. Woo, look how nice that looks. And of course I can't wash the door, but after it's installed, what you have to do is um, wipe it all down and uh, then put your paint on. And it's gonna it's gonna be dirty. There's gonna you know, I've blown it off the best I can. I take a, a brush. Well, you can see it's done now. I've wiped it down with my brush the best I can. That's the best you can do because, of course, it's an interior door. You can't just wash it. Anyway, isn't that pretty? This is the clear area that I was telling you about. Of course, the frosting, and this is called shading, where it goes from, you know, solid frost to uh, lesser degrees of frost. And, of course, this is 100% frosted here. So it gives you a lot of nice contrast. And, of course, I've got it behind a black background. Um, and it will be dark, you know, in a pantry, but you will see whatever's in there a little bit. So when you have a lot of other interior doors that need full privacy, we'll get the uh, full solid um, glass and put the etching on this side instead of a clear glass and put the etching on the other side. So we'll do it differently, okay? So whether it's a pre-hung or a barn door or whatever you're using it for, whatever the objective is, it will order a glass accordingly, okay? Thank you for watching. This is Terry again with etchedglassdoorsfl.com.